Hello, friends, and welcome to your daily devotional reading, Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. January 20th, Light or Shadow Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Isaiah 5, verse 20 God is light, and in Him is no darkness at all. If there were no light, there would be no shade. But while the shade comes by the sun, it is not created by it. It is some obstruction that causes the shadow. So darkness emanates not from God, but is the result of an intruding object between the soul and God. Disregard of the light that God has given brings the sure result. It creates a shadow, a darkness that is more dark because of the light which has been sent. If a man withdraws himself from light and evidence and yields to Satan's seducing arts, he himself draws the curtain of unbelief about him, so that light cannot be distinguished from darkness. More light and evidence would only be misunderstood by him. The greater the evidence, the greater will be the indifference. This will lead the deceived soul to call darkness light and truth error. Satan is constantly working to lead men to deny the light. It is but a step from the straightforward path to a diverging one in which Satan leads the way and where light is all darkness and darkness light. It is a dangerous thing to open the heart to unbelief, for it drives the Spirit of God away from the heart, and Satan's suggestions come in. We must avoid the first admission of doubt and unbelief. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. God destroys no man. Every man who is destroyed will destroy himself. When a man stifles the admonitions of conscience, he sows the seeds of unbelief, and these produce a sure harvest. They would none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way, and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearketh unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Our High Calling, January 20th Thank you for listening, and join me again tomorrow for another daily devotional reading.